Disclaimer. This video and all related media to this project's fanmate has no affiliation with Riot Games or League of Legends. So, okay, this is a fanmate champion spotlight. A fanmate champion spotlight. Rein. Tego is an adventurous support who left his cave after many years to finally explore the world. Okay, der Bro ist auf jeden Fall, äh, ne? Deutsch? Der, der spricht Deutsch normalerweise? He is still a little bit scared, but he's not alone. His best friends, the Fireflies, are with him. While he may not look like it, Tego is really nice and always wants to make new friends. So don't be too rough on him. Welcome to the Tego Champion Spotlight. The Fireflies? They are my best friends. The Fireflies, they are my best friends. Tego's passive, Glow Up, is meant to be taken quite literally. He carries around five... Ich bin jetzt schon Fan des Champions, einfach nur weil ich, ich liebe es Monster Champs zu sehen. Nicht humanoide Champions, die so ein bisschen monsterartig sind, voll geil. Um, und wie sieht es so, es hat mich erst an Perry das Schnabeltier erinnert, das falsch rumläuft. Weil dieser Schweif da hinten, ich weiß nicht, ob ich ihn fühle. Das ist irgendwie seltsam. Man weiß nicht ganz genau, was ist. Ich dachte, es wäre ein Schnabel. Bimmy? Aber ich liebe es auf jeden Fall schon mal Monster Champion zu sehen. While he may not look like it, ein Niffler, true. So ein Niffler aus Harry Potter, ja. Aus Fantastic Beasts, ne? True. True, true, true. true. Nice and always wants to make new friends. So don't be too rough on him. Welcome to the Tego Champion Spotlight. The Guardian the of Calamander. They are my best friends. Fireflies, they are my best friends. Tego's passive, Glow Up, is meant to be taken quite literally. He carries around five Firefly friends, which he can place on the map using his abilities, creating a small area that grants buffs and vision for a certain amount of time. When Tego is walking through these fields, he has a Glow Up, getting increased movement speed, stronger auto attacks, and a bit of tenacity. Because no one can stop the power of friendship. Allied okay. champions also get a bit of movement speed, while opponents are slightly slowed. When two fireflies are in the same area, they combine forces, increasing the effects of the field. The vision, however, is not impacted. Tego loves to explore and discover new things. But that can be scary when you're alone. Luckily, he isn't. that can be scary when you're alone. Luckily, he isn't. His Q is his two-stage ability. At first, Tego activates his lantern, gaining movement speed. He now has a limited amount of time to reactivate this ability. With every reactivation, Tego places a firefly on the ground, creating mm -hmm. a glow-up field. He can do okay. this as often as he has firefly stored. This ability also has a passive. Instead of attacking wards to destroy them, Tego can consume them into his lantern, giving him a stack for each ward consumed. Er kann Wards aufsammeln? Instead of attacking Wards to destroy them, Tego can consume them into his lantern, giving him a stack for each Ward consumed. Cool! With every stack, the radius of his globe fields increases, including division. However, he can only have a maximum of 5 stacks and loses them again upon death. His Q is not the only way to get the fireflies on the map. With his W, fire a fly, Tego spins his crystal and fires one of his fireflies to the desired location, dealing a bit of damage and revealing enemies hit. Okay, also the animation of his champions hat auf jeden Fall gut hinbekommen. Die Animation der Fähigkeiten sieht scheiße aus, aber ich habe keine wie schwer das ist zu animieren, dass Tego cool laufen kann und so weiter, ne? Aber gut, die Passive sieht genau gleich aus wie Q und W. Also nur so Place If he has a firefly an. stored, a glow up field will be created at the landing spot. If he does not have one ready, he can still use the ability, but no field will be created. Allies hit the disability gain a shield. The shield duration is increased when the ally stands in a glow up field. Nur ich finde diese Hand, die sieht so aus wie diese Hand aus Elden Ring, die aus auf euch zukrabbelt, ne? Ist einfach so eine riesige Hand. Bruder. Using your E ability, a small leap may be a small one for Tego, but can be a giant one for his team. Tego jumps a short distance and slides over the ground, knocking enemies aside. He can jump over terrain, but only with the right timing and when there is vision on the other side. If there is not, or if he's already sliding, Tego will bump into the wall, ending the ability. Tego's ultimate light bringer will bring light into the dark. For your team at least. He slams his lantern to the ground, dealing damage around him and destroying all enemy wards in the area created. Enemies within the area become nearsighted, meaning they can't see the outside of the Whoa. area when inside. The ability becomes larger and lasts longer with every point invested into it. The darkness can be scary. 
Let me help you. <lacht> Wir werden mit seiner tiefen Stimme einfach da so. The dog is can be scary. Let me help. <lacht> Meine Güte. Tego can no, provide great vision drin. and lane and nice feel for his AD carry. However, his damage output is not that high. He really shines when it comes to providing information for his team and helping other lanes acquire leads. Into the Unknown gives him the tools to spot the enemy and make it harder for them to surprise his allies. Oh, cool. The passive gefällt mir. While this champion has quite a bit of mobility, don't be fooled. Most of it only comes from his movement speed and using his glow up fields or the Q can come at a heavy price. When I'm scared, my friends are here for me. Aww. Overall, his abilities need to be used carefully. You need to know what you get from every firefly for the best results. Running away because you invaded too aggressively without being able to jump over walls can be heavily punished. Tigo has good engage and disengage tools and can have massive impact in teamfights, especially with his ult. But it can be hard to pull off. Carefully preparing and getting advantages through vision can drastically increase your chances of success. You see, Tego may be of giant size, but he's gentle, as long as you are. He's always happy to meet new friends to join him on this journey. So what are you waiting for? Learn more about his adventures at the links below. Too good. Geiles Champion Spotlight, man. Ich habe zwei fundamental wichtige Fragen. Frage Nummer eins ist, wie, zum La wie, viel, wie lange dauert das, sowas zu machen? Also muss er das alle animieren oder hat er das programmiert? Und wenn ja, wie? Er hat ja irgendwie die League of Legends Fläche, also hat er das voll geil gemacht. Warum hat der Champion nur vier Finger? Also warum hat er eine Hand mit drei Fingern und einem, und einem Dingens? Ist er mit Jax verwandt? Jax hat auch irgendwie nur drei. Warum hat er vier? Und ich finde im Allgemeinen die Idee super cool, so einen Champion rund um, um, um Vision zu haben, der Wards aufsaugen kann und der Wards mit seiner Ult killt, mit seiner Passive aufsaugt. Ich muss sagen, ich habe erst gedacht, und deswegen wird er für mich, ähm, passt das nicht ganz so gut zu ihm. Er ist halt eher so ein enchanted Support. Der gibt dann erst die Attack Speed, was er gesagt hat, und ein Schild mit der W und so weiter. Äh, er sieht einfach so aus, als wäre er so ein richtig heavy Frontliner. Und normalerweise, also das, du wirst, wenn du ihn pickst, hast du halt, ja, es passt nicht ganz zu ihm, so sein, sein Kit. Finde ich zumindest. Ich finde irgendwie, das passt eher so zu einem, zu einem mehr enchanter Style Champion. Ne? <lacht> Weil er hat, er hat auch nicht wirklich Damage, er ist halt einfach ein Frontliner und meistens hat Enchanter auch gerade sehr darüber genervt, weil seine Hitbox Girl ist ja alone. riesig, dadurch, dass er so, dass er so groß ist. Ein Tank ist normalerweise so groß, damit sie halt eine gute Hitbox haben, aber ein Enchanter, also der so groß ist, der wird halt sehr viel Damage nehmen, ne? Das tut weh. His Q is his two-stage ability. At first, Tego activates his Lantern. Tank Enchanter ist doch nice, ja, aber du kannst halt nicht wirklich, er hat also nicht wirklich gut engaged, sein E ist ja recht useless. Gaining enemy oh ja, ist auf jeden Fall eine gute Idee. If he has Geil gemacht das Video, kriegt auf jeden Fall einen Like create. von Herrn Simon Waldschütz. Nice, nice, nice Champ Design. Ich will gar nicht wissen, wie viel Arbeit darin steckt, so ein Video rauszubringen. Sieht nämlich sehr anstrengend aus. Ich könnte das ganz, 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 ganz gewiss nicht.